According to a Weibo post that cites the Washington Post, the three winners of the Nobel Prize in Medicine expressed concern over the future of biomedical research in the U.S. due to years of cuts in federal funding. Now, according to the Post, the three scientists, all American, share the Nobel Prize for their insight into the traffic control system of living cells, which could pave the way for future treatments of epilepsy, diabetes, and immunological disorders. However, the three expressed worry over government funding cuts and commented that they might not have gotten grants for their earlier work had they offered the proposal in today's depressing funding climate. Now, America is widely regarded as the scientific leader in pretty much every field. And as for Chinese Weibo users, many wondered why these American scientists don't take their proposals to China or how China can better attract top minds from America. Okay, let's take a look at some of their comments. Americans are always prepared for unexpected developments. They worry about their science progress because they want bigger achievements. We don't need to pay much attention to the complaints from Nobel Prize winners. Most discoveries at that level cannot be applied into business. So to some extent, these researches are just a huge investment. The same as charities. It's a little crazy to drop billions of dollars into such researches. I think what the American scientists say is true. Because of the financial crisis, the scientific research funds have been reduced every year. Even the NCL's funding has been cut down to 8% last year and 10% this year. We can imagine the condition of other institutions. In summary, the U.S. is out of money. China is not lacking money and it even encourages scientific researches. But the red tape issues and the complex personal disputes just deprive the ones really in need from getting the money. In my opinion, some Chinese experts are just trying to make money under the name of scientific research. China has been trying to attract overseas talent for some time now. And according to an article from the China Daily, top specialists in education and science are able to apply for a talent visa. China is also to publish a list of work skills that are most in demand to help with overseas recruitment. The list won't be revealed until next year, but it's expected that there will be a need for high-level management positions in many state-owned enterprises. Shanghai, one of the cities that spearheading the project, published a list for overseas talents that included 72 job vacancies that they plan to fill. Now, these high-level positions pay upwards of $130,000 a year at prestigious state-owned enterprises such as the Shanghai Electric Company. Now, the deputy director of the State Administration of Foreign Expert Affairs also remarked earlier last week that foreign experts come to China to realize their dreams and that as more foreigners work in China, they realize China is not a rising monster but a fascinating country.